Okay, that's just gonna make this video even worse. Better turn off the video light. Focus. Okay, this is the final version of Windows 8. To make it clear, I'm a paying Tetnec the TechNet subscriber, so I have the version earlier than the rest of the public. Everyone else will not be able to get it until October 26, 2012. As you can see, it's asking me to personalize and name my PC. So, one, up, one moment while I put my camera down here. And this is a touch screen PC. So to prove it, that's asking me to select the wireless. And this is a secure connection, so pull away again while I enter my password. Okay, now you see that it's asking if I want to go to the express settings, which I always take. Now it's asking to sign in to my PC.
Now it's looking for a Microsoft account. Okay. It found my Microsoft account. Now it's asking me to enter this password. Okay, now it's asking me to add security info, which I didn't see this in the beta. So let's see what it's asking for. I apologize for the camera, but I'm not good one-handed. And it's asking me for private information. So I'm not going to show this on film. Please wait. Creating your account. It says, hi. While we're getting things ready, Check out the new way to use Windows. Now I haven't seen an intro since Windows Millennium and Windows XP. So I find this interesting that Microsoft has gone back to using an intro. And as you see it's pretty graphic intense here. people are starting to argue that Windows is trying to become more and more like the Mac. I personally have had a Macintosh and I have a 50-50 argument of one way or the other. I have no idea how long this is going to take so I apologize in advance. And it says, in case you can't read it, we're getting your PC ready. Nice color effects, I might add. This is Windows 8 Pro. There are three versions of Windows 8. There's the basic Windows 8 Home, Windows 8 Pro, which this is, and Windows 8 Enterprise. If you want Windows Millennium, or excuse me, not Millennium, if you want Windows Media Center, you have to get the Pro version. But Microsoft has dropped the price for current Windows users to 40 bucks. From what I understand, it's going to be a download only. You'll be able to make your own recovery media later. But I have not officially checked into any of this yet. Installing apps. Apparently, Microsoft is kind of copying from its... Windows Phone 7 devices. I've seen this message on Windows Phone 7 demonstrations that I've seen on YouTube. 
I personally have an iPhone 4S myself, but... This is Windows 8. And there you have it, folks. As you can see, it's a completely new interface. We still have desktop. I can slide these screens over. And we have a desktop interface for your legacy apps. We have a Facebook and other messages icon. And as you can see, it is already getting mail. And there's a weather app. I will explore this further and provide more updates as I become aware. Please keep in mind that school will be starting soon, my last semester of college. I will be graduating from Indiana University of Pennsylvania with my bachelor's degree in communications. I've had very good times there too. I recommend anyone looking for communications definitely go to IUP no matter what state you're in. And this is GB755C signing out.